After viewing this video, you will be able to use the Clarity 3D Layout Full Wave Extraction Workflow to Display the S parameters, display the general RLGC parameters, view the S parameters using channel filter, and compare the S parameters curves. Double-click Clarity 3D Layout.exe to launch Clarity 3D Layout. The Choose License Suites dialog box is displayed. Select the Clarity 3D license. Select Load Layout File from the Workflow pane. Select the highlighted SPD file and click Open. The design file is now loaded in Clarity 3D Layout. For the purpose of this demonstration, the design is ready for the simulation. Click Start Simulation on the toolbar to run the simulation. When the simulation completes, the resulting S parameters are loaded automatically under the Network Display tab. Select Z from the drop-down menu to display the Z parameters. Similarly, select Y from the drop-down menu to display the Y parameters. To view the general RLGC results, right-click the network name and select Transfer to General RLGC from the context menu. The General RLGC setting dialog box opens, displaying the detailed information of all ports in their respective netgroups. Source is the type for all ports by default. Click the corresponding cells under the column type to set the sync ports. For each netgroup, there should be at least one source and one sync. Similarly, set the sync port for Net2. Click OK to exit the dialog box after completing the port settings. The general RLGC curve is displayed on the layout canvas. To view the S parameters using channel filter, click the channel filter button on the network display toolbar. The channel filter dialog box is displayed. You can select any of these three options from the channel filter dialog box. Return loss, insertion loss, and crosstalk. Return loss is selected by default. To select Insertion Loss, click on the Insertion Loss checkbox. Similarly, click on the Crosstalk checkbox to select Crosstalk. The elements displayed on the layout canvas are replaced by the elements selected by you. You can click the Comparison Mode button on the Network Display toolbar to compare the S parameter data between different group of curves. When the Comparison Mode button is selected, if one curve is selected in one set of data, the same item is selected in the consecutive datasets. If you change the property of one curve, properties of the same items in different datasets is changed automatically. If there is any mismatch in the number of ports, it still displays the same item from each group. If the channel filter is set to insertion loss, it applies to all datasets. If a data is loaded later, it inherits the property of the last filter applied on the plot. Click the Comparison Mode button. Select any curve in a set of data. The same item is selected in the consecutive datasets.